even though it was usable before, it had its kinks, right? And you had to get used to it. But this is going to be uh, transformational for me, right? So uh, that is going to be something that's really cool. Uh, the camera is another game changer. Now we have jigs for everything and jigs help us provide precision when it comes to creating, again, consistency and professional looking products. But alignment and having this feature also is a big changer for me. So um, another feature that I would say that I'm really excited about. And let's take a look at the speed of things. So let's look at, for example, this. You look at 6,000 millimeters per second, that doesn't really uh, hurt my brain too much. And I'll tell you, I wouldn't focus on the 6,000 millimeters per second. 6,000 millimeters per second is unrealistic. I would never, and I have never been able to engrave a top speed for any laser that I own. It's like saying I have a car that can drive 300 miles an hour and you buy the car solely because you could go 300 miles an hour. You're never going to drive it at that speed. Uh, some people can't dr control the car at that speed. So here, I don't know that I've ever had a laser that I've been able to engrave anything at quality of that top speed. So what I look at is what is a functional speed? You know, the speed that I find that's appropriate for the functions that I'm going to be exercising. What's appropriate, right? Or common sense speed. Look at this. A coconut, right? The area, 32 millimeters by 50 millimeters. 32 seconds. That to me is functional. I could see myself engraving something and having that speed is great. A charger, 13 seconds, 25 by 30. I could see us doing that. That's fast. Uh, 